Hey there! Today we'll have a look at a pen that was very highly anticipated. Highly anticipated pen, uh, the Pelican. It's of course a Pecan. Yeah, I'm just going to say Pelican. M800 Grand Plus. This was lent to me by Applebaum Pennon. Uh, thanks a lot. These are already very hard to come by. It was a, a limited production run and people are going berserk over this because often with Pelican you have those striped uh, designs, the green, etc. I love that. I think it's a very classy and classic design, but uh, Pelican did something completely different here. All right, white outer sleeve, and if you've seen my videos before, you, you have seen these boxes quite a lot of times. This is what I refer to as the coffin, and in there is the pen. I'm just going to take out the pen so it won't fall out, uh, and then in here you have one of those little things that you slip on the uh, clip to see what nib grade it is. You have the little fake leather um, pouch and you have this thing which you can pull out and below that is just the, the, you know, the, the, the warranty booklet and the filling instructions etc. But that's not that interesting. What is interesting is the pen and the pen I'm going to cover the past the pen and tell what I like about it, what I don't like about it and I'll do a writing sample. Now this is the pen alright so this is I think especially for a, a pelican by no means is it the first time that I've done something like this, uh, but it, it is definitely something different. Okay, now at the top of the cap, the finial, of course, you have the modern uh, Pelican logo. You have the clip, shaped like a Pelican bill. You have the uh, cap and a little center band which says Germany Pelican Souverain, because of course it is part of the Souverain series. Barrel and piston turning knob. Now I just want to ha want you to have a, a nice look at this material because it really is very attractive. So I really enjoy that. Unscrew the cap and you get a uh, section, same shape as, as all uh, Souverain pens, but it's not the same material. It looks, I'm just looking because yeah, this really looks like black, not like it's brown, sometimes it's a very very dark brown, but this really looks like black. Uh, and then you have a fairly large nib. This is an 18K nib, this is extra fine, and I've always loved the, the, the Pelican nibs. I think they're among the, the, the prettiest nibs. They have nice scroll work, they have the Pelican logo on there again. If you just ink this up, the, the, those the scroll work lines fill with ink and it's just gorgeous. Okay, so size wise i mean the section as i said the section is, is just an m800 section uh, but it's 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 I, I find these things comfortable threads a little sharp but not horribly so and it's a nice decently sized pen it's not as big as an m1000 it's not as small as an m600 i think for a lot of people this is a nice slightly larger pen without being an enormous oversize but very comfortable I'm just going to carefully post this. As I said, this is a, a loner from Applebaum, so I don't want to damage this. Um, but it's it's very, yeah, it's, it's just a great size. Uh, what you may be able to see right there is that is a slight translucency. You may see those two horizontal rings in there. That's part of the uh, piston turning knob. So it's a very l a slightly translucent material. Although to be honest. It seems to be the cap more so than the barrel because if I hold up the barrel against the light, yeah, you can see through a little bit, but you really need a fairly bright light source. So it's the cap, and then mainly this part of the cap that's, that's very translucent. I'm trying to show you that here. Light is coming from that side. You see that this is more translucent than that. Okay, things I like about it, things I don't like about it. Well, it's hard not to like the material. Again, it, it catches the light, it, it marbles a little bit here and there. Uh, I, I think it's a very, uh, very pretty uh, material. If you buy a Pelican, you know what you get. You get, at least in my experience, a good quality pen. It's well made, it will write well. This is a, an extra fine nib, but it's, it's very pleasant to use, even this one. Yes, it's extra fine, yes, you'll get some feedback, but it's not scratchy or anything. It's just well tuned, has a good, nice, rich ink flow. Uh, and, and that's all there's to it. So you, you buy that. You, you buy a, a very reliable writer. And as I said before, in the M800 size, I think you also buy something that has a, a very nice size. There are also some things I don't like so much. One problem with, with material like this, 
is that it really depends on the specific pen you get. So you can see a gorgeous picture online and you can get something that has a lot less swirls or uh, you know depth than what you saw in the picture. So my advice would always be to, if you if you want to buy a pen like this to really go to a brick and mortar store or be, you know really touch the pen before you pick. Sometimes they allow you to t try two, three, four different ones and see which material you like best. Of course, not everyone has that luxury, but if there's a store near you, it's worth it. It's worth it to, to do this. Um, the material is nice, but the price is high. A regular M800 around here is about 480 euros. This is 599. So the the price goes up quite a lot and because they sold out very quickly it was a very popular model as I said very highly anticipated uh, I had even seen them on eBay already for higher prices so um, the, the question that of course is, is raised then is is that really worth it is this a, a 600 euro pen well uh, clearly I can't answer the question for you it's something you have to decide um, what I will say is <clears throat> you get a piston filler, you get an 18 karat gold nib that alone does not warrant 600 euros worth of, of value I think but it's not just a cartridge converter filled pen, it is it is a solid um, uh, piston mechanism and for those of, those of you who don't know if you have a Twisby wrench you can actually disassemble the piston unit yourself for cleaning or uh, putting some silicon grease in. Another nice thing about the pens uh, is that you can unscrew the nib unit and um, uh, put in a new one, that's not cheap. Uh, I recently heard that one of those nib units cost 215 euros which is almost half the price of a, a normal um, M800 so you, you, you spend a lot on that. But what about this one? Is this 600 euros? Well the material is stunning. It really is a very attractive pen uh, but it's a lot more expensive than the regular ones. Um, it could be, yeah, I understand it's a different material uh, etc but bear in mind it's also a special edition so they only produce this for a limited time and there's, there's uh, you know they, they will stop doing that and then they're out and they probably won't be produced ever, produced ever again I think the price is on a steep side for an M800 and um, on the other hand you will get a very reliable and I think comfortable pen so that's uh, my two cents as they say you have to decide for yourself but I think that's why it's more expensive. The material, the just limited availability, and of course it was highly anticipated. If there's some type of hype surrounding it, price is going to go up. Okay, next up is a writing sample. I again thank Applebone Pen for lending me this pen. It's coming back to you right now. Uh, measurements of the pen will be on the website, sbrebrown.com, as well as high-resolution pictures taken by Gourmet Pens. Okay, writing sample, let's do that. Hope this was useful so far, and I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye. Okay, so here we go with the Pelican M800 Grand Plus. The nib is extra fine, and the ink is um, Omas Blue. It is an extra fine, so you're going to notice some feedback as you write. But I don't really find this a scratchy nib. As, an, as far as an extra fine goes, it's, it's actually nicely tuned and smooth in that regard. Let's do some fast writing. I notice only an occasional skip here and there, so it's it seems to be doing pretty well. Of course, being an extra fine, this does not put down the richest layer of ink, so it's on the dry side. Um, but, you know. Line variation, pecan nibs, known to be a bit springy, and you do see that here. Not a flex nib, though. Reverse writing. Well, it's already an extra fine, so you don't really gain much here. But it is possible, and it's actually remarkably smooth. But of course, I mean, there isn't that much of a difference between 
regular and refers writing in this case. Okay, thanks to Applebaum Pennon for lending me this pen. I appreciate it. Guys, I hope this was useful. And uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.